We are in Death Valley testing terrain relative navigation, the new technology for Mars 2020. The terrain in Death Valley is very much like Mars. It has a lot of sand dunes and steep slopes. It's quite similar to the landing site that Mars 2020 will be going to. We're taking a copy of the system that will be on the spacecraft and we're testing it in the way that it would be used during the flight mission. Terrain relative navigation gives the vehicle the ability to figure out where it is. This is kind of along the same lines of what the Apollo astronauts did uh, with people in the loop uh, back in the day. Those guys uh, were looking out the window and uh, looking for different craters and other features on the moon that they knew of from the maps we had on the moon. So that way they could figure out where they are and figure out where they needed to land to, to be safe. So for the first time here on Mars, we, we're, we're automating that. What terrain relative navigation gives you is the ability to avoid hazards that you already know about. So large hazards, hills, craters, things that you've seen before. With the camera, we take images as we're descending and we match pieces of the image to orbital imagery that we have stored on board. And if we make many of these matches, we are able to figure out where we are relative to the map. If we didn't have terrain relative navigation, the probability of landing safely at Jezero Crater is about 80 to 85 percent. But with Mars 2020, we can actually bring that probability of success of landing safely at Jezero Crater all the way up to 99 percent safe every single time. We don't have an astronaut that we can put on board Mars 2020, uh, but we can put this, uh, this system, this terrain relative navigation system, so that the, the spacecraft can figure it out on its own. I could see it being used on lunar missions, science missions, as well as human missions. Future Mars missions, of course, Mars sample return, Europa lander, landing on a comet, um, pretty much everywhere you want to land, you're going to want to have terrain relative navigation.